Good afternoon. Would like to welcome everybody to our uh, 2015 uh, middle school honors program. I know I speak on behalf of all these fine people sitting behind me when I tell you that it is truly a pleasure uh, to be able to be around your children every day. Uh, we have had a wonderful year. It's been a great year. Uh, it's been really fast, and maybe that's just because I'm getting a little bit older and things are going a little bit faster. Uh, but it's been a quick year. Uh, we, it's been a good year, though. Uh, so glad that you're able to join us today as we uh, celebrate uh, some recognitions uh, that our children have achieved this year. Uh, and even if this child not getting something, doesn't make them not a, a good child. It just means, uh, you know, they're maybe not getting a certificate this year, but there's always next year. So uh, keep striving and doing what they're doing. They've done a, a great job this year. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Ms. Keelan Seeley. She's our student council chaplain, uh, and she's going to give our invocation, and then we'll get right into the awards. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for letting us gather here today, and thank you for blessing this school with wonderful teachers that fill our minds with knowledge. Please be with us during this program, and let the rest of the school year be great, and let us glorify you in everything we do and say. Amen. Thank you. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 15, 12 through 13.
there's not much that blesses my heart more than to hear our kids sing. That's, that's awesome. Uh, I'm going to present the Student Council Awards, and I'd like to start out by thanking our middle school student council for this year. They've worked hard. They've accomplished a lot. They've been a great group to work with. Each year we honor those students who serve on our executive board with certificates and appreciation for their work and leadership. So if these students would come forward, this year our president was Maggie Stevens. Our vice president, Rob Hendren. Our vice president in charge of PR was Elizabeth Cully. Our secretary was Mary Leslie Cranford. Our secretary adjunct was Meredith Owen. And our chaplain, who's already been up here, is coming again, Keelan Seeley. Our historian is Allie English. And our treasurer, Matt Crow. At this time, I want to recognize just some of the uh, hardest working members in the group, and there are a lot of them. Uh, we worked for a lot of good causes and charities this year. Our members collected much needed items for Los Fundos, which is our TRA charity, and these items will go with our upcoming senior class to the Dominican in a couple of weeks. And I want to say uh, thanks to everyone who donated to this and to Elizabeth Cully, who worked really hard for this. So Elizabeth, would you stand up where you are, please? She worked really hard organizing this. We also have a state charity for our student council organization, and our state charity this year was St. Jude. And um, we had two students who worked really hard to bring this um, project together, and that was Davis Cox and Elizabeth Cully. And I need them to come forward to help me give out some more awards, please.
So with the following teams come and receive these. Abby Dallas, Brooke Monroe, and Sarah Mines. proud of these kids. Oh, let's see. Now, wait just a minute, I've gotten lost. Okay, I still have some more members I would like to recognize. Um, there were a couple of committees that worked extremely hard this year in addition to the ones that we just talked about. We have a calendar in our school hallway that is completed the last day of every month, which gets to be a big job. And the uh, communication committee is headed by Abby Dallas. So, Abby, would you come and receive the certificate? Another committee that we have that's been very busy this year is our teacher appreciation committee. And thanks to Anna Skidmore, I have personally received the benefits of that committee. So, Anna, would you come? <laughs> Members of the Junior Beta Club are expected to maintain a high academic standard, but also they must exhibit high moral and Christian character. It is the belief of the National Beta Club that exemplary student effort and achievement should be encouraged and awarded. It is through that mission that it seeks to cultivate the ideals of service and leadership in our citizens of tomorrow. At this time, I would like to recognize those individuals who have served as leaders within the Tipton Rosemark chapter of Junior Beta. As I call your name, please come forward and receive your certificate. Um, Jake Roan. <laughs> Neely Turner. <laughs> Megan Gilbreth. <laughs> Anna Skidmore. Elizabeth Griffin and Nicholas Pitsos.
earlier this trimester, students meeting membership requirements for joining our chapter were recognized and inducted at a candle lighting ceremony. At this time, I would like to present those students with their certificates and pins from the National Beta Club. As I call your name, please come forward to receive your award. There are quite a few of the students, so if you would hold your applause until we get to the end of the list, please. I think I should do that here. Jordan Allen. Kayla Allsbrook. Carson Coleman. Davis Cox. Daniel Craddock. Emily Crane. Emma Curtis. Hutch Dunavant. Meg Fullen. Lydia Grigsby. Brianna Hall. Heath Harold. Ryan Hill. Jacob Horner. Porter Hughes. Tucker James. Kylie Jimenez. John Harris Macklin. Bryce McLean. Justice Morlack. Hale Parchman. Noah Rowland, Brooklyn Rose, Aiden Sprinkle, Alex Stepp, Ethan Stewart. Cooper Thorpe, Macy Turner, Mary Catherine Turner, Emma Kate Wilder, Matt Crow. Josie Daniel, Paige Kirk, Jessica Manley, Paige isn't here today. Camden McLemore, and Jeffrey West. You give these students a round of applause. The Tipton Rosemark Academy Alumni Association is pleased to recognize students who turn in forms to the Advancement Office 
letting us know that they completed service hours equivalent to or greater than their current grade. So we'd like to re recognize those students now. Um, there's a lot of them, so again, just hold your applause uh, until the end. Jordan Allen. Carson Coleman. Elizabeth Culley. Wesley Culley. Trace Blackwell. Davis Cox. Emily Crane, Matthew Crow, Abby Dallas, Allison Davidson, Emma Kate Davidson, Maddie Douglas, Allie English, Andrew Farrell, Noe Flores, Megan Gilbreth, Lydia Grigsby, Brianna Hall, Tucker James, Kylie Jimenez, Bryce McLean, Meredith Owen, Autumn Payne, Caitlin Pfeiffer, Ashton Pickard, Keelan Seeley, Anna Skidmore, Maggie Stevens, Alex Stepp, Kate Stepp, Seth Sumro, Grace Tillman, Macy Turner, Mary Catherine Turner and Emma Kate Wilder. good that's a lot of kids doing a lot of community service hours and I bet there are more out there who did not turn their forms in and could have gotten a certificate yeah um, I'd also like to recognize the student ambassadors um, these student leaders surged throughout the year in a leadership capacity at numerous events on campus they represented the school off campus um, they worked mornings, days, nights, weekends, and um, we are all very thankful for all of the hours that they put in. So we're going to recognize the student ambassadors now. Um, sixth grade, Carson Coleman. <laughs> Meg Fullen. <laughs> Lydia Grigsby. Tucker James and Macy Turner. Seventh grade, Emma Kate Davidson, Brooke Harwell, Oni Nafee, Meredith Owen. and Lexi Williams. And 
Eighth grade was Sydney Downing. <laughs> Keelan Seeley. Grace Tillman. And Neely Turner. All of these students worked very hard throughout the year. There were several time frames throughout the year that I felt like I was emailing parents on a daily basis asking for help for different events. Um, and there is one student that I would like to recognize um, who just happily volunteered to come to pretty much any time I sent out an email and asked for a help for help. Um, this person was at the event and did a great job. And um, so we, um, Andrew and I, Coach Womack and I decided to do an ambassador of the year this year. And so this year we would like to uh, recognize Carson Coleman. On April 14th, 27 students from Tipton Rosemark Academy attended the 59th annual mathematics co competition sponsored by TMTA, the Tennessee Mathematics Teachers Association at Dyersburg State Community College in Dyersburg. The following students from our school represented and competed against all the high school students in other local um, areas. The following students um, need to come forward to get their certificate of participation. Megan Gilbreth. Rob Hendren, <laughs> Sam Hopper, <laughs> Maggie Stevens, <laughs> and Neely Turner. I was very proud of these students. They worked really hard and did really well in the competition. Although none of our students won the competition, I was very impressed about how well they did considering they were eighth grade students and competing against other high school students. So congratulations. Duke TIP is a nonprofit organization dedicated to serving academically gifted and talented students. Duke TIP works with students, their families, and educators to identify, recognize, challenge, engage, and help students reach their highest potential. Now in its 35th year, the seventh grade talent search identifies bright seventh graders based on standardized test scores achieved while attending elementary or middle school. Candidates are invited to take the ACT or SAT college entrance exams as seventh graders, which allows them greater insight into their academic abilities. In addition, they gain valuable benefits and have access to unique resources for gifted students. At this time, we would like to recognize a student who qualified for state recognition. Today's honoree has earned an award by scoring at or above the national average of recent high school graduates on at least one part of the ACT or the SAT. This student is invited to a special recognition ceremony held at a university in our state. We would like to also honor him here today. Please come forward to be recognized, Andrew Patrick. Good afternoon. I'd like to present some awards to some very talented fine arts students that we have in our middle school. Um, first, I have a recognition I'd like to make to an eighth grader who was able to participate with the high school show choir in going to our Atlanta festival this year. The high school choir took nationals in Atlanta and first place in all of their categories of show choir, jazz choir, mixed choir, and women's choir. 
and uh, they receive superiors. So this young man was a part of that. I wanted to recognize him at this time, Josh Waits. Back in the fall of this year, we had what we call the All West Honor Choir. It recognizes students uh, from schools all throughout our region, and they select the top choir students throughout our area, and they attend an event called All West Honor Choir. The following students were selected for this, and I'd like to recognize them at this time. Caitlin Pfeiffer. Gracie Easley. Emma Kate Davidson, Madison Clement, Chloe Crowder, Chloe Barnett, Keelan Seeley, Maggie Stevens, Carrie Close. Megan Gilbreth, Brooke Harwell, and Ryan Hightower. I'd also like to recognize some very talented sixth grade students who uh, entered a Competition for our Treble Honor Choir. This is statewide recognition, and schools all over the state of Tennessee select fifth and sixth grade students to represent their schools. Uh, Rosemark was in the top uh, four schools across our state that had the most selected from our school. And the following sixth graders were those chosen to attend this Justice Morlock, <laughs> Seth Walker. Emily Crane, Ella Gilbreth, Hutch Donovan, Daniel Craddock, and Bryce McLean. Every year I recognize uh, music vocalists who have really um, done an exceptional job throughout the year in everything they've competed in, whether it be All West Honor Choir, the talent shows, we have so many things they can be a part of. And I always like to recognize our best newcoming vocalist, and this year I had a best newcomer for female and male, and I'd like to recognize those, our best newcomer female vocalist is Carrie Close. And our best newcomer male vocalist, and it's really interesting because he's a rough and tough football player too, so I love seeing it when they cross over. And this is Nathan Bradley. And he is definitely a bass too. We love that. My next award is the, the 2015 Horizon Music Award. This recognizes an individual who is really just up and coming, um, has done an excellent job in music this year and really the past few years. And this award this year goes to Chloe Crowder. My final award is the Rising Star Music uh, Vocalist Award, and this year we have two recipients. We have, uh, these two students have gone over and beyond. Uh, one was second chair for All West, one was third chair. The other received a top uh, bid for our Mid-South Preliminary in the competition this year for our talent competition. And the two recipients this year for the 2015 Rising Star Music Awards are Gracie Easley and Megan Gilbreth.
Good afternoon. I will now present the sixth grade honor roll awards. Jordan Allen. Carson Coleman. Daniel Craddock. Emily Crane. Emma Curtis. Meg Fullen. Brianna Hall. Ryan Hill. Jacob Horner. Tucker James. Kylie Jimenez. Hale Parchman. Brooklyn Rose. Aiden Sprinkle. Alex Stepp. Ethan Stewart. And Macy Turner. All right, uh, I have the uh, sixth grade headmaster, and uh, the Academic Excellence Award is presented to those students who have achieved the highest level of academic performance by making the headmaster's list the first two grading periods. Those sixth grade students receiving this award are Davis Cox, <laughs> Hutch Donovan. Lydia Grigsby, Heath Harold, John Harris Macklin, Bryce McLean, Justice Morlack. Noah Rowland, Mary Catherine Turner, and Emma Kate Wilder. I'll be presenting the sixth grade Lamp of Knowledge Award. The Lamp of Knowledge Award is presented to the student who has achieved the highest overall academic average during the current school year. The sixth grader this year with the current average is Emily Crane. The following sixth grade students have the highest average in each subject for the school year. Language Arts is Davis Cox. <laughs> History, Emily Come Back, Emily Crane. Mary Catherine Turner. Oh. 
and in Bible, there's a tie between Meg Fullen and Mary Catherine Turner. And science is Bryce McLean. have the seventh grade honor roll. <clears throat> the following seventh grade students receiving the Academic Achievement Award have made either the headmaster's list or honor roll the first two grading periods. Chloe Barnett. <clears throat> Tatum Chandler. <clears throat> Mary Leslie Cranford. <clears throat> Abby Dallas. Emma Kate Davidson, Jordan Detheridge, Noe Flores, Lake Fly, Eva McIntosh, Brennan Medina. Meredith Owen, Nick Pitsos, Cameron Stubbs, and Lexi Williams. This time it's my pleasure to present the seventh grade headmaster. The following seventh grade students receiving the Academic Excellence Award have made the headmaster's list the first two grading periods. Addie Beasley. Chelsea Bomprezzi. Allie English. and Anna Skidmore. The seventh grader with the highest overall academic average during the current school year is Allie English. be presenting to you the students who have the highest average per subject in the seventh grade for language arts Jordan Dethridge <laughs> for history Allie English <laughs> math Emma Kate Davidson <laughs> science Paige Kirk For Bible, also Paige Kirk. Okay, next is eighth grade honor roll. The following eighth grade students received the Academic Achievement Award have made either the headmaster's list or honor roll the first two grading periods. Samuel Belcher. Clayton Brown, <laughs> Carrie Close, 
Autumn Coleman, Elizabeth Culley, Allison Davidson, Brenna Grace Lockhart, Autumn Payne, Ashton Pickard, Keelan Seeley, Seth Sumro, Grace Tillman, Josh Waits, and Stan White. Okay, the 8th grade headmasters awards. Uh, the following 8th grade students have re uh, receiving the Academic Excellence Award have made the headmasters list in the first two grading periods. Gracie Easley. <laughs> Franklin Garner. <laughs> Megan Gilbreth. <laughs> Sarah Gravy. <laughs> Elizabeth Griffin. Rob Hendren, <laughs> Sam Hopper, <laughs> Caitlin Pfeiffer, <laughs> Jake Rohn, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Luke Smith, <laughs> Maggie Stevens, <laughs> and Neely Turner. The eighth grader with the highest overall academic average during the current school year is Megan Gilbreth. Stand right there. <laughs> <clears throat> it's my pleasure to present the eighth graders with the highest average per subject. For language arts, arts there is a tie between Megan Gilbreth and Neely Turner. Um, for history, Elizabeth Griffin. For math, Sam Hopper. For science, Megan Gilbreth. For Bible, Megan Gilbreth. In 2 Timothy 2.15, Paul encourages Timothy to develop Christian character by saying, Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a workman who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Paul further encourages Timothy to pursue four things, righteousness, faith, love, and peace. I would like to recognize the following students for displaying true Christian character. In the sixth grade, Emily Crane. <laughs> And Tucker James. And in the seventh grade, Allie English. And Nicholas Pitsos. And 
in the eighth grade, Keelan Seeley. And Franklin Garner. Leadership is service performed in love. It is obedience and it is humility. The following students have displayed excellent leadership characteristics. In sixth grade, Mary Catherine Turner. And Aiden Sprinkle. In seventh grade, Meredith Owen. and Mac Fullen. In eighth grade, Maggie Stevens. And Rob Hendren. As you can see from the amount of awards handed out from academic achievement, from community service to music, to student council, to our, our leadership award and our, our Christian uh, spirit award, it has truly been uh, a great year here in the middle school. Um, it's been a pleasure. We have enjoyed it immensely. Uh, as always, if, if you ever need anything from any of us, don't hesitate to uh, contact us. We'll be more than happy to do anything we can uh, for your children. Uh, at this time, we'll have our closing prayer. Uh, Miss Keelan Seeley is going to come and offer our closing prayer. As soon as we are dismissed, uh, eighth graders, and especially if the eighth grade parents are here who went to Washington, D.C., Miss Lisa Cole is right over there, and she has your beautiful pictures that y'all took. I'm sure they're just wonderful. So you will be sure you'll want to pick them up uh, from her on your way out. And so that way they're not just getting crammed in backpacks and you get them home in about five pieces. So uh, at this time, Keelan. Please bow your heads. Dear Lord, thank you for, again for this wonderful school and letting us gather here today. You have blessed our school with so much. Please help us to have a good rest of the year, and please help us focus and glorify you. Please let next year be just as great as this year, and thank you for sending Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Amen. Will you tell the middle school volleyball team, the 6th and 7th graders, to stay? Okay, if parents, if you're going to check your child out, that's more than fine. Uh, Miss Kim has some checkout sheets over here. Uh, she'll be out in the foyer. If you want to see her and just sign your child out, uh, Miss Porter said she'd like to meet with the 6th and 7th grade volleyball team real quick. Uh, so if that's it, y'all are dismissed. Thank you so much. Students that are not being checked out, 5th period. <laughs>